Buck. I'm a huge Buckeye fan. If you have a nice jersey, I can help you recruit. Please get these ladies paid. We're going to do what we want. And you're going to have no choice but to respect it. So basically, the NCAA was saying you can't benefit off of your athletic reputation, but we can. It's five seconds on the clock. Are you going to fold under the pressure or are you going to rise to the occasion and make a name for yourself? What's up? I'm back again. Two episodes in one day. It's seven o'clock in the morning, almost eight. I'm recording episode 8.5. Yes, 8.5. It's football Friday. Hey, that might need to be a segment on a five seconds on the clock podcast. But if you don't know, this weekend is championship weekend in college football and all division one conference championship games will be played this weekend. And this is just a quick, short, simple episode to preview those matchups talk about the significance of each matchup, and give my prediction for each, not each, but really just the big, important ranked matchups this weekend. So it's Friday, and starting tonight, there is a huge matchup in the Pac-12, the Pac-12 championship between Oregon and Utah. This has huge college football playoff implications for Utah, who is currently ranked number five in the latest rankings of the college football playoff. A win by Utah and a loss by Georgia in the SEC championship game could be the path for the Utes to make the college football playoff for the first time. And if Utah can beat Oregon tonight, it will be the team's first Pac-12 title since joining the conference in 2011. But that's today's matchup. But let's talk about tomorrow's big matchups. Tomorrow at noon, number six, Oklahoma takes on number seven, Baylor, in a rematch of a thriller from just three weeks ago in Waco, Texas, as Oklahoma was able to come back from a 25-point deficit down 28-3 to in the first half, and the Sooners were able to storm back and beat Baylor 34-31 to in regulation. Depending on what happens in the Pac-12 championship game tonight and what happens in the SEC championship game, between LSU and Georgia, the winner of the Big 12 championship could find its way into the top four. So it's a lot on the line for both teams in the Big 12 title. It will be the same in the Pac-12 if Oregon wouldn't have lost to Arizona State two weeks ago. Oregon could possibly be ranked number five right now and be battling it out with Utah for the fourth and final spot in the college football playoff. A lot is on the line for Georgia in the SEC championship game in Atlanta. Maybe not as much for LSU because they all but have guaranteed themselves in the college football playoff no matter the outcome in the SEC championship game. But the, but if they want to hold on to that number two spot and potentially jump Ohio State for the number one spot, they have to beat Georgia on Saturday evening and end the Bulldogs championship hopes. In the ACC, number three, Clemson faces number 23, Georgia. This should be an easy win for Clemson. And depending on what, help, what happens elsewhere in the country, Clemson could be ranked anywhere from number one to number three when the final rankings are released on Sunday. Speaking of rematches, the number one ranked Buckeyes face number eight Wisconsin in a rematch of a 38-7 beatdown by Ohio State in Columbus earlier this year. I'm sure Wisconsin is hungry to get another shot at Ohio State, who has the offensive and defensive player of the year, along with coach of the year and first-year coach Ryan Day. Chase Young, Justin Fields, and running back J.K. Dobbins could all be headed to New York for the Heisman Trophy presentation. So those are the Power 5 Conference conference Championship games. There are also three other Conference Championship games on Saturday, and they are all important because whichever team finishes highest in Sunday's final college football playoff rankings will be the non-Power 5 Conference team in a New Year's, New Year's Six Bowl. So there's a lot on the line in each one of these games. There are four teams who are playing this weekend who could potentially earn the highest ranking, and two of them play each other. Number 17, Memphis plays number 20, Cincinnati, in the AAC Championship. Um, that game is on Saturday at 3.30. The winner of that game could finish highest in the ranking. Memphis might be in control of their own destiny because they are currently the highest ranked team at number 17. Also, number 21, Appalachian State plays Louisiana at 12 on Saturday. Appalachian State might be at a disadvantage because they are the lowest ranked team right now out of the four. They're currently ranked number 21. Number 19, Boise State plays Hawaii for the Mountain West Conference Championship. If Cincinnati beats Memphis and Boise State handles business against Hawaii, the Broncos might be the team playing in New York's, in a New Year's Six Bowl this season. 
so those are all of the conference championship games. Now I'm going to give my predictions on all of the ranked matchups, just the ranked matchups, starting with the American Conference. I think, well, it's really more so like I hope Cincinnati wins because I'm going to be a homer and I'm going to root for the home team. I'm going to root for the home team in my state to win. And my cousin did go to UC, so I'm going to go with Cincinnati. Final score, I'm going to say Cincinnati 30, Memphis 20. And I'm predicting Cincinnati will end up as the highest rated non-Power 5 conference team, and so they will be the one to go to a New Year's Six Bowl this season. Clemson Rose easy versus Virginia. I got Clemson 45, Virginia 13. Ohio State makes it two out of two versus the Badgers this season. Ohio State will win in the Big Big Ten Championship 42 to 24 over Wisconsin. Lincoln Riley has been here the past two seasons with two different quarterbacks and has won both times. Saturday, he will make it three because Jalen Hurts has played in many big games and multiple conference championships, multiple conference championship games in the SEC. So he'll be ready to lead his team to victory versus the Baylor Bears, who have been a great story. Them, along with a team like Minnesota, have probably been the best story this year. But I got OU winning 38 to 27. And in the SEC, Joe Burrow and the Tigers keep it rolling, stay undefeated, and put Georgia's hopes of returning to the college football playoff to bed. Joe Burrow could potentially wrap up the Heisman if he shows up and shows out. And depending on how impressive how impressive LSU looks and what happens in Indianapolis with the Big Ten championship game, the Tigers could be ranked number one come Sunday. I got LSU 31, Georgia 21. That's all for episode 8.5. It's Football Friday. Enjoy the weekend, and I will be back soon. Signing off for the 5 Seconds on the Clock podcast, it's your boy, Brandon Williams. Yeah, dig.